The CTX200 uh, pocket cap is the kind of tester that every installer should have in their tool kit. It's multifunctional in that it tests both RJ45 Ethernet and coax cables. It's ruggedized and cushioned. Notice there's no LCD display for breakage. And the remote is conveniently stored in a built-in drawer. When you open up the package, you get the pocket cap, get a great instruction manual with illustrations of the common cable problems you run into out there. We'll talk a little more about that. You get a satchel that includes the various adapters, including the ones for coax, and you get a 15-inch uh, CAT6 patch cable, which you'll find very handy. Let's show you a typical test of the CTX200. We'll test this 15-inch uh, patch cable. Turn on the tester. Hit it one more time to start the test. And immediately you get the big blue LED saying pass. So you get pass-fail indication within seconds. And it shows you the four Ethernet pairs. 1 and 2, 3 and 6, 4 and 5, and 7 and 8. Had there been any problems, the problems would have shown up over here in the right column. It would have either been an open, short, cross, or split pairs. Now, inexpensive cable testers rarely have a split pair test, yet split pairs is the most common problem you'll run into when creating Ethernet cables. Split pairs, we'll take a look at it in the manual here. Split pairs is when you take one of the wires from a pair and accidentally use it as in replacement of a wire from another pair. Just open the manual and look at the split pair diagram and you'll see what I'm talking about. We have a split pair cable here that has been modified, so it is truly split. And let's plug this one in. Turn on the tester. Start the test. And you'll see that it's flashing pairs 1 and 2 as failed, and they're split. So individual wires in the pairs in 1, 2, and 3, 6 accidentally have been swapped in this cable. Now, let's say you're in, uh, testing a cable that is installed in the wall. You can remove the remote adapter from the pocket cap. Plug this in. Plug the remote adapter in. Turn it on. Start the test. And you'll see the big blue LED saying passed. All four pairs are good. No problems. Another great feature of this tester is its ability to generate tones. Let's plug in our patch cable. Turn on the tester. Hold this button down for seven seconds and it'll turn on the tone. You'll see it flashing. It puts the tone initially on pair 1, 2, but if you wish, you can select which pair you'd like the tone on, or you can select all pairs, including the shield. This tone is compatible with almost all tone probes out there. Let me reach across here and grab one of ours, including all of the Bite Brother tone probes, and give you an idea of the tone good loud tone. So that is a quick overview of the Bite Brothers CTX 200 pocket cap.